Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Saturday, February 24th, 2018, and my search for the elusive and endangered yellow perch has bled over into a second weekend. So I've come out here to a local pond where I know there's perch, I've caught them here in the past, believe it or not, to see if I can hook up with a few of them today. I'm going to start out with this uh, gulp minnow underneath a float. It's pretty much as automatic as you can get for wintertime panfish. So hopefully that will be a winning combination that will allow me to put some life in my fish tank. One thing I really like about fish in parks is uh, the amenities. Because look at this, I got a bench to sit on. There's a portage on right over there. I'm telling you man, lap of luxury doesn't get any better than this blue heron how's the fishing today I'm certainly not having any luck you're looking pretty thin I don't think you're having much luck either I hope you're not watching me thinking that you'll learn something I can tell you right now, you're much better at this than I am. Well, I may not be catching anything, but at least the rain is getting heavier. Oh, there he goes. He got bored. He's like, this guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing. I'm out of here. Don't blame him one bit. Oh, there's one. Finally, some action, but not what I wanted. Little bluegill. Do not want to put this in my tank. I've actually had bad luck with bluegill in my tank. They normally die after a couple of months, and it doesn't matter where I get them from either. So that one will continue to enjoy its freedom. There's a fish. Oh, another bluegill. Made a move to another section of the pond. Hoping the action might be a little faster. And this guy hit it pretty quickly. Another bluegill. Still no sign of perch. Oh, damn it. He was taking it under. I thought he had it. Damn it. Don't know if it was a perch or not, but a missed fish is a missed fish. It always hurts. There's a fish. Another bluegill. Now, this one's even smaller. I'll run to the litter right here. So that's three bluegill so far. Zero perch. Oh, you got one jiggling it. He stopped jiggling it. God, I have had so many super light bites today. It's like they're just breathing on it. We're getting close, buddy. You guys are really be interested in what I'm doing. Well, you just love hanging around me today, don't you? I'm going to call you Henry. Henry the Heron. What the f 
fudge. Oh boy. We got us a loop. Jeez. Wow, this is a bad one. This is super bad. Okay. So the loop is off the spool. Let's see if we can't straighten it out. The problem is I got a wind here that's screwing me up. Ah, no way. This is too too much. Too much garbage here. Yeah, it's broken. Does this ever happen to you? Probably not. You don't get hooks in your coat either, do you? How do you catch perch, Henry? Impart your wisdom upon me. Lord knows I don't have any of my own. Ooh, 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 that was a big hit. He stood this thing right up. He's on it again, he's on it again. Ah, oh, he missed it. There we go. Ah. You need bait? <laughs> Alright, well I moved to another small pond nearby. Hopefully this will treat me a little bit better than the last one did. I've already seen some fish move around the shallows here, which is a good sign. Maybe some of them are perch, and maybe some of them are hungry. We shall see. Seems I have entered the neighborhood of obnoxious dogs. Just about every direction I hear a dog barking at me. Oh, there's a fish. What is it, what is it, what is it? Ah, it's another bluegill. Not what I wanted. Oh, there's a fish. I didn't even know he was on. Looks like it is another bluegill. Might be the biggest one I've caught all day. What's this? Uh, it's a little largemouth. Well, that's something different. Still, not what I'm after. Oop, fish on, fish on. Another bluegill. No shortage of these today. Back you go. Tell them perch to come up and say hi. I know they're in here. 
Okay, well, the perch have me flummoxed yet again, so I'm going to leave them alone for a while. I tied on a floating Rapala. I'm going to see what other kind of stuff might be going around on this pond. I might catch a perch on this, but at this point, I'm not holding my breath. I feel like I gave myself the best chance with what I was doing before, and absolutely no luck so just gonna do whatever right now need to close the day on a good note oh there's one I saw him hit that little largemouth he hit it very aggressively All right, not the nicest fish I've caught all day. I'll call that a win. There we go. What is this? Ooh, this is a white perch. You know what? Never had one of these in my fish tank before. I think we got us a winner. Let me set this guy up in the bucket. There we go. That was a yellow perch. That was a yellow perch. I set the hook. I snagged the bait on the shore. And he got off. Okay, then. Okay, everybody, I'm packing it in for today. It's getting late, and my heart's just not in it anymore. Losing that perch at the end just about crushed me. That was, that was about the saddest I've ever been with a fishing rod in my hand. Um, in terms of what I'm trying to do, that was just devastating. But on the plus side, I did get a white perch, which I've got in my bucket right now should make a very interesting addition to my home aquarium so I'm definitely looking forward to getting that guy home so a little bit of positivity out of today but the search for perch continues I don't know if that's what I'm gonna do the next time I put up a video but I will try to get those yellow bastards again I guarantee you that so thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next adventure